Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this uh, video, we will talk about another class that is Reptilia. And in Reptilia, we will first take up the general characteristic features and then we will take some important examples. Reptiles, they can be aquatic or terrestrial. Their skin is covered with exoskeleton. So exoskeleton in them is made up of epidermal scales. The skin is dry and non-glandular. That means it is without any glands so that it is not moist and it is not required to be moist because there is no exchange which is going to take place from here. On the contrary, the skin is dry without any glands. Thick with this epidermal scales is to minimize loss of water. Most of the reptiles, they are carnivores. except tortoise. Tortoises are omnivores. <coughs> so all reptiles when we say, we generally say that they are carnivores. Now let us talk about some important systems and the special things that they have. We will start with respiratory system. In case of reptiles, respiration is always pulmonary. That means it is through lungs. So this is the only mode of respiration. Then let us come to circulatory system. Circulatory system again here we have some important things. The heart is three and a half chambered. Now what exactly we mean by this? There are two auricles or atria and one ventricle. So basically there are three chambers but this ventricle is incompletely divided. So if we make this auricle, this auricle and this is going to be the ventricle. Now if we draw the walls, this is the septum which divides ventricle. So ventricle is divided but the partition is incomplete. So we normally say three and a half chambered heart or if you are talking about only chambers then two auricles and one ventricle. Here also we have an exception. In crocodiles heart is four chambered. That means there is complete separation of the left and the right ventricles. And if there is complete separation of left and right ventricle, then in that case, there is no mixing of blood which is going to take place. So here, this compartment receives oxygenated blood. This receives deoxygenated blood. When the blood comes into the ventricle here, mixing takes place. That means the blood which is supplied to the body parts is mixed blood. And such a heart is known as arteriovenous heart. when it supplies mixed blood and it is a double circulation heart. But the double circulation is not circulating purely separated blood and that is why we say that it shows incomplete double circulation. In case of reptiles, RBCs are nucleated 
Other things are all normal. In case of reptiles, again, one more thing. Hepatic portal system is very well developed and renal portal system is slightly reduced. So well developed hepatic portal system and poorly developed renal portal system. So this is about the circulation part. Heart is the most important thing that we need to remember. Let us talk about digestive system. In case of reptiles, teeth are homodont or heterodont. They can be all alike or they can be different. Attachment point of view, they can be acrodont or they can be pleurodont. So normally, this is less and pleurodont. This is more common. Again, here we have an exception on the attachment also. In case of crocodiles, teeth are thecodont. Thecodont dentition is seen in case of higher animals like us. In our case, the teeth are properly fixed into sockets which are there in the bones. So, crocodiles have dentition like us, heterodont dentition and thecodont dentition. And the teeth are polyphyodont. That means as many times the teeth fall off, they are going to regrow. Digestive system related one more feature that they have cloaca. Cloaca is the common opening of three systems. Digestive system, reproductive system and excretory system. So it is a common opening and this cloaca has chambers also. So again a unique feature. Let us come to another system that is excretory system. The terrestrial reptiles like lizards and all, they are uricotelic, the terrestrial ones. And the aquatic ones like the turtles, tortoises and uh, crocodiles, they are uriotelic. And the excretion is through metanephric kidneys. Nervous system, they have 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Sense organs are also developed. The middle ear is there which has only one bone, stepes. Inner ear is also there. But the unique sense organ which we talk about is Jacobson's organ. These are special organs which perceive various kinds of chemicals which are there in the air and they are found in snakes. One more thing we will talk about here is the endoskeleton. Endoskeleton is made up of bones. So bony endoskeleton. In case of amphibians we talked about certain vertebrae also. Here also we will say or we'll talk about those two, atlas and axis are present. In case of amphibians, atlas was present but axis was absent. In case of reptiles, atlas and axis both are present. And in reptiles, uh, ribs, intercostal muscles play a very significant role in increasing the efficiency of breathing. Now let us talk of reproductive system. In case of reptiles, sexes are separate and they show sexual dimorphism. Males and females can be easily distinguished from each other. The males normally have a copulatory organ like penis or hemipenis. 
they are oviparous that means they lay eggs and these eggs are called cladoic eggs. Cladoic egg is a self-sufficient egg that means it should have enough yolk content which is enough to su uh, supply or provide all the nourishment for the development of the embryo which is taking place inside that egg. So these eggs are polylecithal and there are membranes which surround the embryo. The membranes are same four extra embryonic membrane that is chorion, allantois, yolk sac and amnion. So amnion, chorion, allantois and yolk sac. All extra embryonic membranes are present and that is why this group is called amniota. So most of the reptiles are oviparous but there are some which are viviparous or ovoviviparous. This is some unique thing. So viviparous is rat snake. This is one unique thing and the other is ovoviviparous and the example is rattlesnake. But most of them are oviparous. Our reptiles come into tetrapoda. Tetrapoda means they normally have two pairs of limbs. And we said normally. That means there are some reptiles who have lost these limbs like snakes and some lizards. So they have two forelimbs and two hind limbs. The limbs are pentadectyl. That means there are five digits and at the tip there are claws. This is uh, except <coughs> the snakes in which these limbs are lost. So there are some limbless reptiles also. So this is just to sum up the general characteristic features of reptiles. Now when we take different examples of this class, we will also talk about the unique features of those important examples.